changing simple sentences to compound sentences. Here's an example of each. What makes this sentence simple? Well, it's made up of one independent clause. That is, it has a subject, it has a verb, and is a completed thought. And what makes this sentence compound? It's made up of two independent clauses, each with a subject and a verb, joined together by the coordinating conjunction so. Think of compound sentences as being two or more simple sentences joined together. Let's have a go at changing the simple sentence to a compound sentence. We have to add another independent clause. Here are some independent clauses we could choose. The cat watched. He could bury his bone. The owner was angry. Now we have to add the second independent clause using a coordinating conjunction. Here are the coordinating conjunctions. Here are some compound sentences we could create by joining our independent clauses. The dog dug a hole in the yard and the cat watched. The dog dug a hole in the yard so he could bury his bone. The owner was angry for the dog had dug a hole in the yard. Each sentence has two independent clauses. Independent because they each have a subject and a verb and are a completed thought. Now we need to be careful. Just because we use one of these words doesn't mean we will have created a compound sentence. These sentences, for example, are still simple, even though for and and have been used. Can you see why? The words for and and here don't join independent clauses. This is not a complete thought, and neither is this. Let's turn a new simple sentence into a compound sentence. Quinn goes to the gym most days. Which of the following are compound sentences? Pause here while you work. Let's see how you went. These sentences are compound. They each have two independent clauses. We know they are independent because they each have a subject and a verb and are a completed thought. These sentences are simple. They each only have one independent clause. Have a go at changing these simple sentences into compound sentences. Use this list of coordinating conjunctions to help you. Share your sentences in the comments below, and see you soon for the next lesson. EasyTeaching.net